Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning, hoping all is well with you. Today, I'm going to get to dream a little. (laughs) I've actually got a little mini vacation coming up at the end of this week. Um, I'm going to a beach on a lake nearby and you know it's not like I'm going to some amazing island or anything but I haven't had a vacation in so long any beach would be great (laughs) so I will take it and it's going to be awesome and so I'm looking forward to that and it's just occurring to me that having a little bit of kratom and laying on the beach in the sun or if it's rainy laying (laughs) in a house next to a beach uh, in the rain <laughs> sounds like an amazing vacation to me I can't wait even if it's just for two days it's going to be awesome and I'm just kind of thinking like what would be the best type of kratom to take in that you know situation now the reason why I'm trying to figure that out is because there's a lot of different ways it could go and that's kind of what I'm realizing on the one hand if I want to like totally relax and veg out and just become one with the sand or bed depending on the weather I could just take like reds and some pretty low-key greens you know and just veg out but then also i would really love to just lay down on the beach outside with a good book but like also go the opposite route like i could either be relaxed and do that or i could be like you know white white varieties of kratom like white mang da (laughs) and like take some of the ones that are like the most energy inducing for me and just like read through an entire book in one day on the beach and i love that idea too and i really i could go either way maybe i'll do both one one day one the other it's kind of hard to choose and um that's all making me think that sometimes there's a middle ground and sometimes there isn't because i'll have a whole day so there's middle ground unless i make it so that there isn't but like i could do some some sort of like you know far out like one side or the other where one day it's just all energy the other day it's all relaxing and um there are merits to doing that and then i'm sure that there are a lot of drawbacks as well i probably won't go like all out one way or the other necessarily but um but it's kind of fun to think about you know it's just amazing how even when it's like a little vacation mini experience i mean it's not all going to be relaxing and and I have a toddler and, you know, it's it's not like I just am going to zone out for two days on the beach. You know, there's going to be stuff going on. But at the same time, I'm going to have some opportunities to do that. And how do I want to spend that time? And I think what I would want to do probably is like one day take something that's pretty energetic, um, maybe like uh, like late morning and just like plan on like two times, like a lot of high energy and um and like t- two serving sizes over the course of like you know the whole day um high energy ones and then like you know white mang da maybe my white indo that i go to normally although actually i don't have any of that come to think of it so i'm still going on this this uh hiatus or pause of not having white indo and it's and you know seeing what that's like which is fine but um yeah i would have brought it if i had it right now oh well so white mang da and then I don't really know what other types of whites I have right now, but something high energy. Maybe I would go into the greens. And then the next day, probably not taking any reds, actually. I'm never really much of a red person, but um, if I did, maybe I would have a little red tie on the beach. That would be really great. I don't take that often. I know I've talked about it before, but um, that one's pretty nice and it's relaxing. Definitely the most relaxing for me, I think. And um, and then also maybe I would take like... Uh, uh, green you know hulu or something like maybe i would want to experiment i could go that direction so that it's not just things that i'm totally 100 percent familiar with and have had many many times and know exactly what the experience will be this might be an opportunity to experiment a little bit and take something that you know i've had green hulu before i've had mixed experiences what if i was on the beach and took green hulu and you know red on the beach or you know hang hung out on the beach for like four hours what happens then so I'm kind of it's it's a toss up. I'm in the I'm in the air about all this, but it's kind of fun to think about. I also don't want to bring all of the kratom. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want it to be relatively easy, seamless, and I don't really want to have to think about it at all. 
Maybe I'll also just like, maybe I would go one day and not take any Kratom, the next day take some. Maybe I go and don't take any Kratom with me. That's totally fine too. Yeah, maybe I could do that for one of the days and then for the other day I'll do like my fun high energy thing. That's what I'm going to do, folks. I've figured it out here and now. So one of the days, maybe, okay, maybe the first day I'm going to do white mang da in the morning, late morning. And then maybe like, um, maybe I'll do either like green hulu in the afternoon and mix it up, or maybe I'll do like uh, white horn in the afternoon. That would be pretty nice. And then evening time, probably nothing. The next day, maybe I won't do anything the next day or I won't do anything the next day. And then that next evening, I, I would take something like red tie relaxing um, or nothing. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll report back to everybody, but um, that'll be great. That'll be great. So there we go. Settled. Those are my plans. Hope you all have a good rest of your day and we'll still have our episode tomorrow. Take it easy. Talk to you then. Bye bye.